And uh, that character in the third quarter, where did, did that come from or has it been brewing for a long time? Uh, it's been brewing for a fair while. But, uh, you know, as a club, you know, we're probably under a bit of pressure this week, you know, after the way we lost last week. Um, so to, to show that character um, and belief from a playing group and a club and a group of coaches, I thought it was outstanding, you know, the way we attacked the week. You know, we thought we were doing a lot right, um, especially last week, um, heading into this week. So, uh, but to be in a position where we were 20 points down early, um, clearly not playing our best footing to come back and have that sort of response was certainly a, a great way to play. Is that the way that the team has changed in recent years? Because in the past you would have just faded away, but your persistence has been there and it's been there for a few games this year. Oh, it's been there for a lot longer than that. It's been there for a few years now. It's been building as a group. And you know we want to experience these moments and these type of games where it's hostile, you're away from home. Um, it was a pretty, pretty big... Um, you know, price to play for tonight in terms of the four points. So um, we just want to keep exposing our playing group and learning from those um, experiences as we go through. Um, and we talk about learning, and I thought we took great learning out of last week and we implemented it this week. So um, we took a, a really big step forward. What's a, cha- sorry, what's a challenge for you now? Because most people are saying that you've well, basically made the finals. But is it going to be difficult keeping the lid on it you know, internally? Yeah, that's, that's nowhere near. I think if you look at the ladder, it is so tight. So um, all we've been trying to do all year is to continue to improve and to set ourselves up in a position where we can play some really high-level footy in the back half of the year. Um, so our next challenge is next week. Um, clearly, that's our number one focus. We can't look too far ahead, and we've spoken about this a lot, and we can't look too far behind. We've just got to t- treat each week the same and keep building our, our game and trying to become the best team we can possibly become. Simon, how were the nerves in the last quarter when the Crows came really hard at you and got back within about seven points? It was nerve-wracking, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was... Uh, look, it was tense. You know, obviously, being in that position last week, and you know they were coming in pretty hard again this week. Uh, we'd obviously learned some stuff during the week about how we wanted to manage those situations better, and I thought the boys executed majority of the things well. Um, although, we, you know, there's still more stuff we can do, but we'll review it and have a look at it and see if we can grow a bit further. Nearly every team, you know, puts players behind the ball in that situation. I think you had maybe only two or three at the forward of the centre at that last bounce after the goal, but then you moved the ball pretty well, like you played to the wings a bit. Whereas last week you might have float, you know, you might have gone for, or you went for goal a couple of times and turned it over. Is that what was learnt? Yeah, all those little game state situations, you know, when you've got a lead and um, how you can actually maximise that to your advantage. And I thought the boys implemented the majority of those things well. And you know, I think you make some great observations. How, how was the coaching box when Neil Bullen kicks that goal to see the result there? How were your oh, emotions? Yeah, it was pretty bit of emotion in the box, clearly. You know, it's been a pretty big week for our coaching staff. They've done a terrific job in building our playing group back up. That was a really gut-wrenching result last week in terms of you know, how it happened. So to build our playing group back up, prepare them really strongly um, and really want that moment again. And uh, as a club, we really attacked the game and wanted to be in a position where we could experience that moment again. And uh, you know, we did. Have you always known that James Harms could play that tag and roll that he's done the last few weeks? Probably end up having to put him there through necessity in the last few weeks. You know, with Jack Viney going out of the team, we wanted to develop someone that could do a, a run with role. Um, you know, he, he's executed it the last few weeks incredibly well. So um, he did an outstanding job with our medical team and our doctors to get himself in a position to play this week. You know, coming off an operation on Monday to actually playing the way he played was uh, outstanding. Was there much discomfort given the operation? Oh, look, you know, clearly we got clearance from the surgeon and. Um, there was a lot of things that he had to work through, um, but he was adamant right from the time he had the surgery that he was going to get up and play. Um, so his mindset was really strong on that, and the risks were, were very small in terms of, well, there was hardly any risk of re-injury. It was more about the wound. Um, so, you know, we got the clearance, and, and away he went. That 15-minute uh, surge in the third quarter, it's happened before for the Demons. Um, that sort of play, does that sort of give you confidence you can beat anyone? I think it gives us confidence that um, when we play the way that we want to play, that um, there's periods of the game that we will score, and it's probably been a strength of ours throughout the year that we can kick goals quickly. Um, you know, we're naturally a, a relatively high-scoring team, um, so that gives the group confidence that if they're in the game for long enough and they keep working hard, that eventually we may have our moment to score. Um, but I've been more impressed with our defence recently in the last you know, four or five weeks, our ability to defend the ground. Um, hold up our end of the bargain's been been really strong. Uh, you've been playing well, but moving forward, 
Is there a particular area that you feel that you need to still improve? Oh, we've, we've worked really hard defensively um, for the majority of the year. Um, and it's starting to come out in our game. Um, in the last four or five weeks, uh, we've been coming harder to score against in general. Um, so it's still evolving and it's still getting better. Uh, we've worked with a few things within our defensive system that have worked well for us. And obviously having some personnel, obviously losing Jake for a, for a while, obviously, and um, Sam's coming to the team and we've started to get some good structure behind the ball again. What about Michael? I was going to say, what about Michael Hibbert? Is he a chance to play next week or more around 21 at this stage? Uh, he won't play next week. Um, he's a chance for the week after. OK. Your stoppage work, Simon, just went from there to another level at one stage. How does that come about? Uh, we've got a, a really talented group that work really strongly um, together. Max Gorn obviously helps that as well. So, um, But, you know, Clayton Oliver and Angus Brosher, they've got a, you know, James Harms, um, Nathan Jones, they've got a will to win, a will to compete. Um, and they've, they operate in a system that, around the ball that's, that's very strong at the moment and they've got great belief in what they do. So um, we'll continue to work on that. We know it's a potential strength of ours that we want to continue to maximise. So um, we'll keep trying to refine that and get better at it. With a game like tonight, Simon, and games we've seen in recent weeks, should this sort of put all the talk about rule changes to bed, do you think? I think there's just been way too much talk in general about rule changes. You know, we had a presentation from Steve Hocking, the process that they're going through about... Um, how they're going to um, try and improve the look of the game. And I think that's something we should do every year. Um, but I think we've seen the game's in pretty good position. Can we improve it? That's what we need to continue to look at, hopefully. Um, as an industry, the AFL will continue to look at ways to improve the game, and I think that's a great position for the industry to be in. How would you have gone with two minutes to go, Tex kicks that goal, and you have everyone sort of flood back in defence, and what if you have to have a 6-6-6? zone, how, how would that sort of change the whole situation? Oh, look, we operate within the same rules. Everyone will operate within those rules, so we'll find a way to get it done and the coaches will evolve and come up with some different ideas of how we can get you know, a defensive mechanism in place late in games. Through this journey this year, you know, because you showed a lot of improvement last year, have you discovered something different about your players that, you know, individually or collectively? Oh, they're continuing to build um, character. You know, it's... Um, we're continuing to try and deal with adversity and put ourselves in position where we can um, really look forward to those opportunities and moments and, and embrace them and become good at them. And that's what I love about this playing group. So um, we'll continue to expose ourselves and, and that's really where our, our huge growth is becoming. Oh, any injuries out of tonight's game, Simon? I think we're all clear. We're all clear. Anyone next week? Anyone back next week? Uh, not at this stage, no.